Commander Nunez reporting from the Challenger Center for Space Science Education in Alexandria, Virginia. Welcome to Challenger Center's premier podcasts. On March 13, 2008, NASA astronaut Bob Crippen gave an exclusive interview to Challenger Center for Space Science Education's founding chairman, Dr. June Scobie Rogers, about his childhood and career. This premier podcast is the first in a series of Challenger Center interviews with NASA astronauts, acclaimed scientists, and explorers. The goal of the new series is to introduce important role models to children and those young at heart. Make sure you subscribe to our premier podcast service on the Challenger Center website, www.challenger.org. And now for the third segment of the exclusive interview with Bob Crippen and Dr. June Scobie Rogers. Well, we think we know what your greatest accomplishment was and being the first to fly this shuttle. But would you, in your own mind, do you think that there was a greater accomplishment in your life? Well, uh, I, I'm proud of uh, raising uh, three daughters whom I'm, I'm, uh, I think have all done well, all went to college. Uh, one uh, is teaching astronauts how to fly the space shuttle today. So uh, they have to uh, be ranked right up there in, uh, in my my list of accomplishments, although I'm not sure how much I contributed. I uh, I often regret having not spent enough time with them since I was always at uh, various trips as, uh, when I was in the astronaut office. You know, some, so many reporters ask the astronauts, why is human exploration so important? Uh, from your point of view, what would you say? Well, it's a little tough to give a succinct answer to that, June, but um, the human race has always explored uh, from the first time we uh, climbed over the mountainside to uh, see what was on the other side. And it's uh, it's important for us to continue to explore, to look for new horizons if uh, we want to continue to advance humankind, uh, particularly uh, for us in the United States. Uh, if we want to continue being the great nation we are, we need to continue to push frontiers, and uh, flying in space is uh, a great way to do it. What was significant about your shuttle experience and, and the outcome of this flight? Where does that fit into this whole gamut of exploration in our nation? Well, the shuttle was a unique vehicle. Uh, we'd been flying in space for quite some time prior to that, but uh, this was the first time we were going to be able to take a vehicle and uh, reuse it. We are going to be able to land on a runway as opposed to... Uh, jumping in the ocean when on parachutes. And uh, it was also, it has the capability to take large payloads uh, into orbit and marry them with uh, people so that uh, you can do more productive work. It's going to be a long time before we have uh, another vehicle that uh, even approaches the capability of the shuttle. And the shuttle has allowed us to do some uh, great things. Probably one people recognize the most is the pictures that uh, we get back from the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh, it's revolutionized our uh, knowledge of, uh, of the universe. A lot of people don't know it, but we did fly some military payloads before um, the military decided to go elsewhere. And uh, I personally think they had uh, a great deal to to do with us winning the uh, the Cold War, which is uh, a major uh, major step to having human progress move on. Uh, I believe when people look back uh, in, in time uh, that they'll really realize that uh, we're giving up a great capability when we no longer fly the shuttle. Crip, do you know um, the person or the company that invented the shuttle? Was it a team of people? Well, it really was a team of people. The NASA had uh, formulated the basic concept of what the shuttle was going to be. Uh, but then they um, they hired contractors uh, to go make that possible. Uh, the company that really uh, had the initial lead on it was uh, called North American, eventually became uh, Rockwell, that is now part of Boeing. Uh, but uh, they they had the lead for uh, that part of the vehicle, the, the what most people refer to as the space shuttle. Lockheed Martin uh, was the one that had the contract for the large external tank that fuels the vehicle, and a company called Thiokol would built the uh, the solid rockets uh, so it was a it was a, a group effort i guess uh, a team effort to uh, to make it possible you've contributed mightily to our nation crip and to space exploration and and to the future as we move forward um in in launching 
new space vehicles and also launching minds as we reach out to youngsters to inspire them. We thank you so much, Crip, for taking this time to share your story with us. Um, you've been a dear friend. Thank you very much, June, and uh, thank you for uh, including me. I look forward to seeing it on your website. Okay. Not only were you the first shuttle pilot, you were the first interview. <laughs> okay. Another first. Uh, all right. Okay. Thanks, That's great. Thanks so much, Chris. Take care. Thank you. And I love the Pandora. Bye-bye. Okay. Cross paths with you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the first Challenger Center premiere podcast. Be sure to visit www.challenger.org and subscribe. And stay tuned for future offerings from Challenger Center for Space Science Education. This is Commander Nunes, signing off.